was beautiful part of it. It's not like the vocational training that is requesting you have a German language up to B2 level. The most beautiful part of it is that they are even accepting German language up to A2 level, at least A2 level, to show that you can be able to communicate in Germany. That is one of the requirements, like the very, the most impact, important part of the requirements. And secondly, when it comes to the requirements, is that any certificate that you're showing that you have done this vocational training in your home country must show that at least you did this training. here today and welcome back to my channel today hey so guys i come today bearing good news so today we are not basically going to be talking about nothing we are going to be talking about other professions like we are going to be including other professions on this channel starting from today of course i used to include other professions too guys <laughs> Anyways, how are you all doing? I hope you all are doing fine. Thank you so much to my returning subscribers. Mm, 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 mm. I love you all. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for all the support and all the love. I really, really so much appreciate. And if it's your first time coming across this channel, hello, darling. My name is Chioma. I am a Nigerian German. Oh my God. No, I'm saying Nigerian German. Okay. I am a Nigerian registered nurse working and living in Germany. Germany. Yeah, I've been working and living in Germany for like, I've been living in Germany since 2017 and I currently finished my bachelor's degree in nursing. Yeah. So welcome to this channel. Get ready for a lot of interesting topics on this channel and stay tuned into this channel because your girl is about to drop her graduation vlog soon. And I'm going to start vlogging often. So it's not something that you would want to miss. Okay, guys, so let's go straight to the point. What do I have to tell you guys today? Oh my God, this is like a good news. So I just want to say for aspiring people, people that are following me on this channel, that are aspiring to come to Germany for an Ausbildung or probably to come to Germany because uh, they want to do vocational training. Ausbildung is vocational training. If you're new to this channel and hearing me say Ausbildung for the first time, Ausbildung, they call it Ausbildung in German and English is called vocational training so if it's your first time coming across this channel so uh, this channel is basically about Ausbildung <laughs> vocational training in Germany because I moved to Germany in 2017 through this vocational training route so I want to say that a lot of things will be changing according to German law in 2024 so if you're planning to come to Germany to do a vocational training from the beginning and in any department I want you to reconsider this if you have any let's say any certificate in this department or if you have something in this department i'm going to be mentioned stay tuned in so let's go guys let's, let's go so actually there is actually going to be a law change in the german law from 2024 april so this law change i'm going to attach it here and I'm also going to attach the link in the comment section so you might want to read up more on it if this is actually you and you're interested. So these professions I'm, professions I'm going to be mentioning, if you have a, a degree or this certificate, I think it's better off if you're currently learning German and trying to move to Germany, it is better off that you probably rethink this which is you might learn German, but not move to Germany through the vocational training. You might move to, you should move to Germany through this job seeking visa for this profession. So these professions are basically, they are recognizing automatically degrees of people with HGND and ND and bachelor's degree, master's degree, Germany is going to start recognizing them by 2024 automatically like you can practice here directly when you move to Germany. Basically what you need is German, which means that when you move to Germany with these degrees, you no longer need to probably do an extra program, write all this exam for it to be recognized in Germany. It is automatically recognized in your home country before you even move to Germany. 
Germany. And because of this, they actually opened a different visa section for it in all the German embassies the whole wide world, especially for let's say African countries or all these Asian countries, people planning to migrate to Germany. This visa section is actually a visa section that gives you the opportunity to get an appointment within two weeks and get to get a job seeking visa so far you have a certificate in any of this profession. So this job seeking visa is going to help you to come to Germany. This visa, they are going to give you a visa that would be lasting for 18 months, which is that when you come to Germany, automatically, these 18 months, you can use it to search for jobs and get a job for yourself for you to extend your visa because your certificate has been automatically recognized from your home country before you move to Germany. So basically, these departments are, you guys, I'm going to mention number one. It's very, very fascinating. The number one on my list is actually people that have a certified driving certificate. It's not driving license, no. People that went to driving courses, I don't know how to put it, people that did one driving program or something because probably they are truck drivers, they drive long distance, they one of the requirements for this is that you must have at least done this program for at least two years or for the truck drivers for the drivers i saw i think they said at least a one year program and you are going to have a certificate to show for it so first of all drivers secondly nurses so basically we all know that yeah nurses so far in germany for you to come over to germany and practice as a nurse with your foreign degree you have to first of all achieve 900 practical hours in germany and go through some series of theory exams and some theory courses before you can be able to even write the medical board exam before they can even think of recognizing your certificate here in germany my darling this is changing for you which is that if you have this degree now if you have a nursing uh, school diploma or college of nursing degree or any degree in nursing it is automatically recognized here in Germany from April 2024. So basically, I know some people have written me, contacted me here from YouTube on Instagram, and they were like, I went to school of nursing in my country. I want to come over to Germany and do the nursing Ausbildung. My darling, you don't long you no longer need to do the nursing Ausbildung. You just wait till April 2024. Book a, a an appointment at the, at the embassy of your country, and then you will get a job seeking visa because your certificate will automatically be recognized so why go through the process again when you've already gone through the process of the vocational training in your country so nothing number three on my list are actually engineers they are looking for technicians technical engineers technical engineers i mean engineers in the sense of not engineers with bachelor in in engineering engineers that went to college of engineering school metallurgical schools or i don't know how to put it that actually learned the skill that learned the skill for no less than two years this is actually their requirement if you are a technician if you are an electrician then germany is calling you by 2024 april so basically you are so far you have something to show at the palm of your hands or in your documents that you actually did this technician program for at least two years you are automatically recognized in your home country even before you move to germany yeah so these are actually number uh yeah the technicians these are actually technicians and, and electricians they are actually number three in my on my list and number four on my list are actually cooks is it that chefs or something chefs people that went to a uh, event 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 planning program or something event planning program cooking programs for at least two years and you have something to show for it that is actually recognized so in general what i'm trying to say that if you've done a vocational training of any type in your country and probably you want to move to germany via any vocational training route because you're hearing they pay people during vocational training in here in germany you don't need to go and stand on the queue of people trying to move to germany through the vocational training route my darling if you have a 
certificate that shows that you have learned this work no less than two years in your home country germany is for you by april 2024 yes germany is calling you because this law here actually automatically recognizes your certificate from your home country to germany so what are actually the requirements so basically you have the certificate now so what next what next actually is that you then need to learn the german language of course if you're planning to move to germany for the vocational training you are also learning the german language but the most beautiful and interesting part of this is that the german language you are now learning for you to move to germany via the vocational training you now divert this german language and use it to move to germany via your vo vocational training certificate from your home country through a work seeking visa so one of the requirements is having German language, at least the most beautiful part of it. It's not like the vocational training that is requesting you have a German language up to B2 level. The most beautiful part of it is that they are even accepting German language up to A2 level, at least A2 level, to show that you can be able to communicate in Germany. That is one of the requirements, like very, the most impact, important part of the requirements. And secondly, when it comes to the requirements, is that any certificate that you're showing that you have done this vocational training in your home country must show that at least you did this training at least two years. Two years is the minimum requirement for this training, for them to recognize it over here in Germany. And the third one actually is that if you want things to go faster for you, it's not really a requirement but i'm just giving it as a tip is that you can send your your certificates in a i don't know they call it in four hours like uh in german like lo looking forward beforehand exactly that's the word i was looking for you can send your certificate beforehand to germany which is you send it to the for example traders association or hand workers association look for any hand worker association online send your certificate to them ask them for you to join the hand workers association you understand for them to recognize you as a hand worker because if you do a vocational training automatically you acquire the skill and you become a hand worker let's say in general that is what they call people like with vocational training in probably engineering field i don't know but yeah let's say you are I don't know how to put it you're a professional what kind of a hand worker or something so basically just try to get it recognized it's i think it's going to open more doors for you in the sense that you might even get the job if you join the association here before coming to germany you can even get a job in your country before even moving over to germany yeah i hope this information is really going to help someone out there thinking they are going to start their life afresh and come to germany start the vocational training from the beginning because of the financial reason and because of the protocols and i don't know the laws in germany that actually don't give you the opportunity to practice whatever you've learned in your country these things are changing for you by april 2024 i hope this is like a good information and i hope that you guys are really going to assimilate this and make use of this information if you're planning to move to Germany for a vocational training by 2024. I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Yeah, stay tuned in. I think my next video will be my graduation vlog. I'll be seeing you guys then. Till then, you all stay safe and love you guys. Mwah.